to quickly show you how to create a script and run it in Ubuntu. As you can see right here, I'm in my home directory, downloads music pictures. I've also got it opened over here. I'm going to use the command line to make a directory quickly, and I'll call it scripts. You can see it pop up over here as well. And I'm going to use the touch command to create a new file in there called script.sh. But I'm going to cd into that directory first. Almost forgot to. And as you can see, now I'm in the scripts directory, just an empty directory here. And I'll use the touch command to create a file called script.sh. And you can see it's created right there. Um, I can open that up. And if I wanted to, I could, I don't know, say echo hello world, which is just a little command, which will tell the script to print out hello world to the terminal window when I run it. I'll save that script and close it. And now I'll run that file. Now I'm going to show you how not to run the file first. You can see if I do the listing command ls, you can see that script is in there. Some people might think you just do script.sh, but if you do, you end up getting this message, command not found. Uh, so how do you do it? Well, the next thing you might do is say, oh yeah, that's right, you got to use a dot slash and then call it. And this actually isn't going to work either. Now, normally that would, but you can see that, well, now it's actually found the file, but it's saying permission denied. And that's because, well, Ubuntu Linux uses the principle of least privilege, which means when you create a file or folder, um, even if you create it yourself, you've got read and write access to it, but you don't have the ability to execute the program, to run the shell script. So if you click on that checkbox there for execute, that will give you execute commissions and then you can run the script or run the command. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it at the command line. You can use the change mode command, chmod. Do it recursively to every file and folder in there and throw in your lucky sevens. Those are the chmod numbers that indicate Kate, read, write, and execute for the user owner, the users group, and all anonymous users as well. Most sysadmins will say never do chmod 777, but I like living on the edge. And actually, if you just use a dot, that applies it to every file in the folder. Now you notice if I come over here, take a look at the properties, you'll see that the permissions are boom, allow executing file as a program has been selected. So I can close that now. And if I really want to, I can do the dot slash script dot sh. And when this runs, boom, hello world. And that's how you can quickly create a script and run a script using dot slash in Ubuntu.